table. He is both host and fair, and anyone who would like Jesus in their life is welcome to come. Now, we are warned not to come with an attitude of dereliction or scoffing, because there really is something going on here with Jesus, and you don't want to treat him that way. But he is so hospitable that anyone who has the inkling of desire to know him, he says, come, come, come. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. O gracious God, we come before you heeding your directives. You told us to regularly and perpetually celebrate this meal. It connects us to one of the five or seven or ten great wonders of your life. It connects us to the great love that you have as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit between you that overflows to us, that made us, and invites us in. We need you and we need your love. And we thank you that it's represented to us in the costly links that you went to to bring it. That's what the broken bread and poured out juice means. The length that you went to, the cost that you paid to help us to know and have your love. So bring that knowledge all the way in, ground us in it, connect us to each other with it. We celebrate you. In Jesus' name and with the words he said when he taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And on the night in which Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. And having blessed it, he broke it. And he said, this is my body, broken for you. Take and eat. And after the same manner, he took the cup. And he said, this cup is the new covenant and my blood poured out for the forgiveness of your sins. All of you drink it. And as often as you take the bread and the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. Yea, this is the food of God for the people of God. Taste and see that the Lord is good. All things are ready. Elders, please come.
take and eat. The cup of, say it with me, salvation. Okay, now pray with me. Remember we said that the message had to do with our lives being open to God. Believing Him, trusting Him, having confidence in Him. Not being cynical or skeptical or testing and trying him, but knowing that he loves us and that he's got power for us. So we've just taken these elements in and it's represented our openness to you, O oh God. Well, now that we feel close to you, or whether we do or not, you are close to us. Brothers and sisters, as we do this worship and as we make this prayer, I want you to, I want to ask you, is there something that's stressing you? Well, tell Jesus. 
Say, Lord, I'm communing with you and with my brothers and sisters, and I've got this worry. Will you help me with that? And we celebrate, O oh God, that we can say these prayers together, knowing that you are kind and powerful, that men and women of many colors and tongues, shapes and sizes, ages around the world, in the past, and if you tarry into the future, we all are brought together in you. And that there's a great host in heaven that is beholding us and cheering us on. Encourage us with these things, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now we're going to have the ushers come and express your thanks to God. This doesn't earn his favor. It expresses your appreciation of him. <laughs> <laughs>